This video is going to walk you through how you can use ParentSquare to set up your parent-teacher conference appointments. So in ParentSquare, where it says New Post, you want to click on the arrow right next to it. And this is where you can find the appointment sign-up feature. And once again, this is what you want to use when you want to set up your parent-teacher conference time slots. And then this also provides a way for your parents and guardians to sign up for the parent-teacher conference times. So starting from the top and working my way down, you want to identify the date or dates for your parent-teacher conferences. And if you click into the field for the date, you'll see the calendar pops up. You can select the first day of your parent-teacher conferences. If you have more than one day, you can click on add another day to select the second day of your parent-teacher conferences. You can also see where once you add a date, you can always remove it if you don't want it anymore. Next, you want to identify the start and end time. So you'll just identify when it starts, when the last appointment or when it will end. Recess, you can keep unchecked unless you want to identify an extended break. Maybe your school provides dinner that you're able to step away from your conferences for. If that's the case, just check the box and then you can identify when the first set of appointments ends. Maybe dinner will start at 5 and you're done by 5.45. So you just want to identify the start and end time of that extended break. Or if you choose not to have that, you can just keep that box unchecked. Next, you want to identify the appointment duration. So how long do you want the conferences to be? Are they 20, 30 minutes? You can identify how long of a break you want in between sessions. Maybe you want five, maybe you want two. You can decide what the break time is. By checking the box, hide names of users who sign up, this makes it so other parents and guardians don't see the names of other parent and guardians as they sign up for appointment times. And you can also check the box to limit one appointment per user across all time slots. What this does is prevents families are to identify more than one time slot um, to meet with you. So if I were to make a recommendation, it's not a bad idea to have that checked um, just to ensure that every family has the right to one appointment slot. Uh, the next one you can keep checked if you choose to. It requires student information. What this means is users will select their student from a drop-down list, and that student's name will automatically be displayed in the sign-up form. So not a bad option to keep checked as you're creating these for parent-teacher conferences. Once you have this information completed, click the Next button. That will take you to the next page. This is where you can adjust the sign-up slot title. And because this is parent-teacher conferences, it's not a bad idea and actually recommended to title this for parent-teacher conference signups. You could even say, you know, you know, September or spring or fall since we're in that time of year, or it can be just as simple as parent-teacher conference signup. Once again, keeping the available slots, um, spots in appointment slot one, meaning number of people who can sign up for each slot. Chances are you don't want more than one family to sign up for your slots. And then listed below is you'll see the days that you've selected for your parent-teacher conferences as well as the available times. The trash can is there if you want to delete any of them that show up. So once again, you can create this and maybe you do recognize between 410 and the 445 time you want to delete those. You always have that option. Only click next. The next thing you want to do is actually send this to the families in your class. So you can click here to identify the different um, sections or uh, groups of students you want to send it to. Um, who should see this as that staff and parents who are associated with that group you're sending this message to. Um, the subject will default to the appointment signups. That's because that's what was selected when you initially started this process. I would recommend, just so it's a little bit more clear, to um, update your subject to be parent-teacher conference signups. And then you can utilize the description to provide um, as much or as little information that you would like to provide. One thing I'm going to share with you, if you ever want any tips for writing posts that parents and guardians will want to read, um, there was a Bite Size PD posted on our Canyons U Bite Size PD page that provides information. But recommendations, keep it simple and to the point. Structure your message in a way that's easy to read and understand. So utilize bullets. You can even bold um, some important phrases and words. If, if, if you recognize some of your families may only just skim 
the message you're, messages you're reading, it might be beneficial to maybe bold some of the more important pieces and dates, list the most time sensitive information first. If appropriate, use that call to action, which in this situation, the call to action is sign up for parent teacher conferences. So make sure that call of action is not hidden in the description or the details of your message. And then, as I just mentioned, use a clear detailed subject line, meaning in this case, utilize that subject to help communicate this is parent teacher conference signups and then if you're looking for tools to support you when it comes to composing some of these posts magic school ai has some professional and email family um, programs to help you or you can even use goblin.tools to maybe judge the tone of your message just a resource if you're looking one to support you as you're writing your description and then once again, you'll see you have this ready to go. When you're ready for it to be posted, you can click post now, or you can even click the arrow next to it and schedule. You can save a draft. You can even preview what the message will look like. So if you're wondering what this would look like for the families to um, interact with, the preview is a great way for you to see what they're going to see. So that is how you can use ParentSquare and set it up to set up your parent-teacher conference appointments.